All right, so we're at Santa Pod for the final round of the 24 Championship. This is the national finals. as well. So, just having a bit of a wander around before qualifying tomorrow. So there's been no test day, straight into qualifying on Friday. Got two days of qualifying and then scheduled for first round is on Saturday night. So just having a bit of a wander around. <laughs> bit of a look before tomorrow. Everything's all pretty calm but that's where it's all going to come down to. So coming into the event, we're still leading the championship. We've led from the beginning. We've had a really good year, we've had two wins, still leading, they've got the points up on the board here. So we're in the lead, we've got 3,010, Phil Pratt in second, he's got 2,690, and Gary Esther in third with 2,620. Fourth a bit further behind with 1,870. So it's really tight at the top. Phil and Gary both took about 300 points out of us at the last event when we went out in the third round. But we've still got a 320 point buffer, quite a nice margin still to have. We've still got to do as best we can, get as many points as we can. With 24 being entered, there's 240 points available for qualifying. So qualifying itself could change the order quite a lot. So we've got the bike sorted, it's all ready to go. Been really paranoid this week, just going over everything, getting parts in, making sure we've got spares, going over the bike, checking it's all good. Everything's here that we need. So we've got set up today, we a bit of a chill out tonight, and then we start qualifying tomorrow. So three scheduled passes tomorrow, First one is at 20 past 10. All right, so it's Friday morning, first day of qualifying at the national finals. We're just starting to get running now. We've got Pro ET just going into the pairing lanes. First pass out. Should have about an hour before we're called, so a bit of time yet. Bikes all ready. Scrutineered yesterday. So, waiting for the call for first round. Get ready for first qualifier, bike's ready, we are all dressed, this guy's talking shit. <laughs> uh, it's been real grey and grim all morning. And it's just started raining. I think they've only run what one class? Pro E T? Or half of Pro E T. It's been an oil down. Perfect E T money's already gone. And now it's raining, so it's going well.
felt a bit shit. So. 9.43. Fuck off. <laughs> 43? Yeah. You're a fucking bad for you. Right, so we just had Q1, Friday morning. So we got up this morning, it was real dark, dingy, real low cloud cover, proper cold, and we had a big tailwind. So we thought, well, we're gonna go quick today. We're getting ready to go, uh, and it just started to rain. So it only seemed like a little shower, but it did get pretty heavy. So it was a couple of hours later before we got first run. So it warmed up slightly. It still had a massive tailwind. So first of five qualifiers, so I just wanted to get one on the board ideally, so the 953 thinking that'd be safe get, a, get one on the board maybe a high 50 something like that took it all the way through and we went to 943 139 mile an hour so broke out by a tenth we've not run a 40 for a lot of years it's normally about 136 mile an hour say hello sky about 136 mile an hour so we're up nearly four mile an hour got two mile an hour at the eighth, 60 foot is what it should be. So I think it really liked the tailwind. The air must be pretty good as well. So yeah, we're, we were a bit lost really, but it's running quick. We had a bit of an issue this morning. Um, the taco was kind of doing sort of odd things. Um, we've gone over every electrical connection. We just put that to a bit of a bad ground, but it all seems good now. It's obviously running all right because we just run a PB for the bass however many seasons, so a lot of people went too quick. Gary went out of class index, he went to nine, uh, an 860 something. Phil missed a shift, which put him the right side of his dial, so he's got one on the board and we'll have to go out again in Q2. So we're we'll going to move the 360 about on the bike as well this weekend, so normally a bit behind the fairing, look, looking at the clocks. It's where I had it this morning, it's normally sat in there. I'm going to try it on the rear seat unit as well.
Come on, play! Pointing right though. Yeah. Yeah, it's pointing well right. <laughs> they did well. Right. Stop now. Oh, you got George on candy cam. Oh, hello. Oh, you got Shaz on candy cam. Candy cam. Yeah. 
Well, no, it, 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 it's um, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 Right, so it's Saturday morning, so we only got two qualifiers yesterday. They cancelled the last session just because we had that weather spell in the morning, so it's going to run on too late. So I woke up this morning and they've announced a riders and drivers meeting at nine o'clock in the grandstand, so we'll go down and see what that's about. All right. Well, we need to get a few more uh, races here because with uh, 300 teams booked in to race this weekend, uh, we do please need all riders and drivers into the grandstands, please. All riders and drivers. We'll give you a couple more minutes to get yourselves here, but you do need to get here. We have got a very important uh, update for you to give you this morning. So we just need a few more of you here, and then uh, we'll feed you into what's going to be happening. So, uh, yeah, just everybody please, even if you're just ambling down, get a job on please folks, get down here as soon as possible, thanks very much. If you really want to peel your ears right back, you want to listen to every single word that's going to be coming out. Uh, Darren and uh, Keith, got uh, a few things to announce to you, and uh, I'll leave it to Darren and Keith. Good morning, man. <laughs> good, good morning, everybody. Uh, first, That's the managing director speaking. <laughs> Firstly, if we could shut him up, we'll get the meeting done. Um, I'll, um, just, just, just for him, I, I hope you've all paid for those grandstand seats as well. Right, so now down to the important stuff. Okay. We've, we've had a look at the weather tomorrow, I'm sure you have as well, so the decisions we're going to make qualifying uh, stops now and straight into elimination. Sorry, it's the feedback on the speakers. So, uh, it's not, it's the operator. So, just a, a few footnotes for that. So, anybody that hasn't qualified up to yet, I know there's a few in the juniors, stuff like that. If you come down and see James, we're gonna, we're gonna put you on the bottom of the ladder. That goes for the other classes as well, but we need to know that as soon as possible. So, the idea is, we're gonna start, put the program back on about half hour, so we're looking at over the track about 10 o'clock, straight into eliminations. Um, we'll get as far as we can in the program today. If we don't finish today, and we get a weather window tomorrow, we will carry those eliminations over tomorrow. So we just get to the semis today, and that's as far as we get, and we get two hours tomorrow, we will carry on and we will finish the event tomorrow. For those that have been knocked out of conversation, um, for those that have been knocked out of competition, uh, and let's say this all blows through, and, and tomorrow ends up being a glorious day, we'll leave the track open and we'll just have like a, a good grudge match, test and tune day, we'll just have a lot of fun for those that are gonna stop over. Or we can also, obviously, as like I just said, we'll finish the eliminations. But it's important, we need your help on this. Uh, it's the first time we've ever tried anything like this. It's one of the reasons that we took Friday away as a test day and we made it an elimination day. It's, it's for reasons like this right now. So uh, hopefully um, it will prove worthwhile. Thank you for your help. Let's see if we can get it done. We'd much rather finish racing and then let the weather, the weather decide the championship. So uh, let's get it done. Thank you very much and we'll see you on the race track. Right, so that's it folks. Get back to the pits. Uh, get yourselves ready for the nations. And one more reminder that especially some of the junior tracks and races, we do know who it is to come down to let us know so we can put you into the ladders. Thanks very much indeed. Alright, uh, so it's pretty much what we expected in the riders and drivers. They've we should have two more qualifiers today and they said that we're going straight into eliminations. The forecast for tomorrow is rain all day, so I thought it's what they were going to say. It's not ideal for us, really. We're still sitting in a good place, but it's just more pressure on today now. So, bike's ready, prepped it last night. We'll figure out who we got first round and get ready to go racing. Thanks, 
Uh, so we ended up qualifying fifth yesterday. I was happy with that after the second pass. First one was nowhere. We were 16th. We broke out by nearly a tenth. Obviously, with that, they've changed the ladder today. That's the end of qualifying. That's done. So I was fifth. Gary, who was third in the championship, was sixth. And Phil, who was behind us, was 11th. So he didn't have a good day. So I think we're now 370 points ahead of Phil and 390 ahead of Gary. So we've got a good buffer. We have built it up a little bit more yesterday. But all that can now go out the window today in eliminations. So we are going to face Blade, who won the championship last year. He moved up to comp bike this year. And he's, he's, I think he's damaged the bike. So he's come back to ET on a different bike. His face was in round one. So hopefully it goes our way. Phil's got quite a tight race and Gary also has quite a tight race in round one, so they could both go out in round one. That would be the ideal scenario for us at the minute, but it's racing, we'll have to see what happens.
I'd like to beat you, but I'd like to win, but oh, yeah, I wouldn't I'm wanting to, to be the champion, so I've got no, I'm so happy. Thank you. Listen now, mate, you deserve it if anybody deserves it. Still well, got a bit I, to I've do, but... I've known you since you were that big, yeah. and I'll be proud of you.
Just right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to close or? No, I think I left the boring. Yeah. I got way off. It was fairly close to the top, so I got fucking way off it, but. Oh, really? Went at 70. Yeah. But, yeah. I didn't think, oh, maybe I should have kept it on a bit more, but. Alright. Gary went out. Did he? Did he get out? Yeah, uh, that Patrick. He's good though, he's eh? He's a dark horse, he is. He's they were both same dialing. Look at that. Both 870. Did you break out or just... Yeah. Well, I dialed it the same as Ben. Did you? Yeah, but fuck it, it's a race. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys, man. Yeah. Alright, so we got through round one. We had Les Harris on the other TL1000. It's actually identical bike to mine. It was built by the same, it built at the same time by George Laycock. So that was pretty cool to race him again. Gary went out, who was third in points, but Phil, who was second in points, he's still in. So we gained a little bit on him just in qualifying, but we've still got to go further than him or him not go too far to set the championship. So we're waiting for Q2, but we've got some real cloud cover coming in, thunder and lightning. So we'll see if we're gonna get it. Pinto as has been close, pretty close to Alban all weekend. Half a second behind. Colo Pinto's gonna have to find some time in the second Williams as well. Lewis Hamilton uh, making the left turn onto that Esplanade Bridge. This is 350th Grand Prix starts when he starts the race tomorrow. Who's the head of Kimi Raikkonen at the second? Today done. Yeah. Oh, you know. Right, I think that's going to be today done. Fucking hammering it down. No. Oh my god. Hailing now. <laughs> That's rough the thunder as well.
yeah. I think that's today done. These are now flooded. Fucking hell. I didn't expect anything like that. Right, it's just quite a while later. It's now seven o'clock in the evening, Saturday evening. I've just started running again. So it's getting dark, track lights are on, and they're running. So I don't think we're gonna be long for round two. We have Nick Bladen on the Buell, and typically Phil, championship rival, should have Blade King, but I think Blade's broke, so Phil's gonna have a bye. He's then got a buy in the round after as well. So we've got to keep winning effectively, go as far as we can, because he's got two free rounds now. I think if we go two more rounds, that secures it, but one at a time, see if we can get around Nick. It's seven o'clock now, so they're not gonna get it finished today. The weather forecast for tomorrow was horrendous. That's why they changed it to just run today. Apparently that keeps changing, so if they don't get it finished today and there's a break in the weather tomorrow, they've said they'll run it tomorrow. So we're going to be here till, till it finishes effectively before we know what's going on. So get ready to call for round two against Nick. All right, so it's quite a bit later. It's now 10 o'clock at night. So they did get running again after that rain. It was probably uh, seven o'clock by the time they got running. They ran juniors, the junior cars. They were running Pro ET. I don't know if they ran anything else. It was getting darker and later and colder and the dew point set in at probably eight o'clock maybe, just after eight o'clock. So they called off the racing for the night. I think they had a few cars as well. Some of the Pro ET cars that had sat outside in the rain. As soon as they left the line, they were just leaving a big, big trail of water. So the tractor was up and down after every pair. It just weren't gonna happen. So they called it off for the night. They're gonna try and run it tomorrow. Uh, the weather isn't great at all. There's another big, um, big spot of weather coming in overnight and into tomorrow morning so we'll see what happens if it finishes as it is now we do leave with the championship but we'll have to see what happens <laughs> like a fucking little golem so if it finishes as it is now we end up with 370 points in front of phil gary who was in third went out in the first round so currently, we are still leading the championship if they call it off. But we'll have to see what happens tomorrow on Sunday, which was the original elimination day anyway. It's been very nervy. Sitting, a lot of sitting, waiting around, waiting to see what's going to happen. We're looking at the weather, looking at radar apps. Very anxious day. So we having a good night tonight and we'll see what happens tomorrow morning. Let's, let's have a toast to Julie. To Julie. 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 Julie.
Mansfield. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hm
not really the way you want it, but frankly, I don't care. We've been in the running for the last two years and we've missed out, so we're taking the number one home this year. All right, so it is now official. The point standings have been updated. So we are officially 2024 national champions in ET bracket bike. Points are up on the board and we need to take the win over Phil at the last meeting. So it does mean we'll be collecting the winner's trophy at the presentation evening in February, it normally is. So that'd be cool to go again. It's been a while since we've had a championship trophy. It was actually, I think it was eight or nine years ago, on the same bike, the TL1000, when we were running in Super Twin Top Gas. So it was my first year out of juniors. We won the championship on my last year in juniors, and then we won the championship my first year out of juniors in Super Twins as well. It's also 20 years this year since the TL won its first championship. That was with George, the original builder. That was Super Twin Top Gas as well. 20 years later, it's done it again. So just need to say a bit of a thank you to a few people that have helped us out this year. So Baz, you've seen him in the videos. He's always been part of the team. He's, I think he's known my parents longer than I have. The bike is technically Baz's. He gave it me to ride after juniors and we've just kept a hold of it. Somebody else has helped us through the year quite a lot. It's Steve Cope, TK Cope Moto. Any part we've needed, any consumable, anything to run the bike, any bit of equipment for me, he supplied us, no problems, no questions. Anything we've needed, he supplied us with. So, big thanks to Steve. That's really, really helped us out. A few other people as well. So we had Ben, at engine data analysis, my boss, he's helped me out through the season. He helped me out last year when we were rebuilding after the blow up. Mark at Performance Unlimited, he also supplied some of the bits when we were rebuilding. Sam for rebuilding, the best TL engine you can have. It's not Mr. Beat all year. We've got furlong tyres, he helps us out on some prices for tyres. Just everybody that's well wished us on Facebook or whatever page it was, or looked on the, the Your Dragster live stream, supported us along the year, we've done it. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching as well. So it's something I've wanted to do for quite a while. I watch enough people, I watch enough channels. I know what I like to see. I just thought I might as well put it on a video. Let everyone see what goes into it really. I think they're only getting better. I think the editing's getting better. I'm getting more equipment all the time, really. And I think having the dragster involved as well will just a whole different side to the channel then too. So can't wait for next year already. This year's only been done a few weeks, but looking forward to 2025. So we'll see what happens before then.